climbed it out. Hello. I'm looking at my daughter Hannah's vlog with her younger sister Solana, five-year-old Solana, and they're doing something on beauty and makeup. See, because today it's so important that you do your research while our researcher Risa has done her work. Dan Rather says that the best pre-work to an interview is homework, homework, homework. In our case, car work, car work, car work. Dahil ang sasakyan natin dito sa Pilipinas ay bahay na. Sir, dito na po tayo, sir. Okay, salamat. I'm Anthony Pangilinan, and in this beauty episode of The Boardroom, we talk to someone who's not just an expert in beauty, but makeup, and who has built a business around it. Much awarded and reputable and respected in the industry, transforming the lives of thousands of women, not just giving them healthier skin, but happier ones too. With the aim to create a skin caring makeup brand for women who don't want to compromise on beauty, Risa Manankil Trilio co founded Happy Skin, the first makeup line to offer an entire range of cosmetic products that truly care for the skin. Launched last 2013, Happy Skin grew from just five counters to a total of 15 stores and 85 beauty stalls across the country today. Together with Jack Yunkian Gutierrez, who has spent roughly a decade in beauty and personal care industry, Risa believes Happy Skin can be the first homegrown makeup brand to win the hearts of Filipinos as well as compete on the global stage. Hi! Hey Anthony! Nice to have you here in one of our Happy Skin boutiques. And thank you for joining me in the boardroom. I'm happy to be at your show. Happy! Happy! Yeah, it's the word for today. Why? Why happy? Happy for happy skin, because when a woman feels that her skin is well cared for, then she's at her happiest. It's simple as that. And why did you decide to focus on skin? Well, it's more about every woman feels like when they start using makeup, mm -hmm. they think it will ruin their skin. I think that's the biggest barrier women have when trying to use makeup. And we wanted women to get rid of that fear by providing them with makeup that actually cares for the skin. And the color, this place, okay? I know this is a Haima design. Yes. What's the idea behind this, this very colorful you know, design for, for such a store as this? Well, you know, a lot of women are actually intimidated by makeup and the Philippines is actually one of the lowest users of makeup compared to China where 40% or Korea it's 85%. So despite the influx of so many cosmetic brands, the Filipinos are actually one of the lowest users. So it's because they're intimidated, they think it's for professionals. So even our packaging, our fun, bright colors and approachable vibe is intentional because we want women to feel like they can find a friend in happy skin and feel comfortable, empowered and you know, it will be easy to look beautiful with happy skin. You know exactly what you want to say. Yes, I do. <laughs> you promise, okay? This is the most promising retailer, and and we have here a taste of that. Yes. Ano ba ang promise ng Happy Skin sa well, mga kliente niya, sa mga partner niya? Happy Skin promises to give women makeup that cares for the skin. It's as simple as that, and that's what we do for every product. And a lot of people have that uh, misconception that you know it's a brand that we, we just bring in or import. Right, I thought it was initially sorry important. But I'll take that as a compliment because you think it's it can stand against other imported brands. But it's uh, homegrown minds behind it, Filipino minds. Uh, we tap different beauty capitals like Japan, Korea, and Taiwan to create a unique formula suited for our tropical weather and for the Filipino skin. So this is again, skin caring. friendly makeup. makeup. Not just skin friendly, skin caring. We care yes. for your Mala, skin. Hindi <laughs> friendly, eh? yeah. concerned pa. Of course, the voice of the brand is like a friend that, you know, in every packaging, there's a happy skin talk bubble and it highlights um, what the special ingredient is because you want we want women to feel assured that every product we churn out will actually care for their skin. They won't be afraid to break out, um, get irritations or have pimples and all that. Eh, paano ba yan? Marami akong men sa show ko. Men? Usap mo isa rin. So paano? Makeup for men. Well, maybe I'll put it to the perspective of your better halves. Happy skin, happy wife, happy life. Ganun pa rin, no? No. In the end, it's always a benefit to her. No, but we actually... But you're right, you're right. You know, we just recently launched our sun care line. And this is something that appeals Perfect. even to the men. To the runners. And we have a lot of yes, fitness enthusiasts who went, you know, we're so happy we finally launched our sun care line. And this was one year in the making because I'm a perfectionist. It's my best and worst trait. Mm -hmm. And we were very diligent 
testing it, making sure we address the pain points of consumer, which is people don't want sticky sunblock. People don't want shiny, greasy looking sunblock and they want it to be easy to use. Dermatologists always encourage women, or men even, to always, <laughs> yeah, to always use sunblock because of skin cancer. And we came out with a UV mist, which you just spray every two hours so that you're sure you're protected. Well, we have a lot of discussion. Yes. And we can't discuss here in front of all your customers. So. Yes, we can't. Maybe we should go to the boardroom and discuss everything there. Well, what do you call your lipstick, by the way? Shut up and kiss me. Shut up and kiss me? No, stay tuned and watch me right here on The Board. Offering products that are easy to use, non-intimidating, but skin caring, comes with a cost to happy skin. But not only do they manage, they are anticipating growth in the coming years. With high-profile celebrities collaborating and swearing by these products, such as Heart Evangelista, Lucy Torres, and Chris Aquino. No wonder these products get off the shelves very quickly. More ideas from Risa on how to get top sales and cut costs below for a bigger bottom line as we continue our conversation with her. The fact that many businesses, including yours, started out of a gap or a frustration or a need. What is the exact gap? What is the gap that you saw that you said, I gotta do this? Well, the biggest frustration I think for women is that they think when they use makeup, it will ruin their skin. That's the biggest hurdle for them to try makeup. That's what I've always known. They always have to do something immediately, take it off, don't sleep with it because it's gonna ruin your skin. That's right. And the gap that you saw was that and you said, Gagawa tayo makeup na? Yep, there was no makeup that combines skincare and makeup. Even if it's from abroad, like as a model, I've tried so many makeup brands, but it didn't seem to suit our tropical weather or the Filipina skin type or skin tone. So creating something from scratch allowed me to be able to address what the Filipina needs. What is the best compliment you got that really boosted you in the beginning of your business? We're doing the right thing. I think it's not about feeling fulfilled because of numbers. At the end of the day, that you're you know changing lives of people. I remember when I was in Silicon Valley for a tour, mm -hmm. and one of the speakers said, um, profit isn't the measure of success anymore. It's how you're giving purpose and changing the lives of people. So I always took that to heart. And every time I do store visits and I get to talk to customers and they tell me, you know what, I never thought I could wear lipstick, but now I can because of happy skin or a bride that's shopping for the makeup she'll wear on her special day. Or, you know, we have um, our BAs, our beauty advisors telling us that there are customers coming to our stores, bringing mm -hmm. recetas from the doctors or the OBGYNs. Recommending happy skin. So this them. is when the formula started paying off. Yes, it's right? a so it's really caring great for you. validation. It's caring for you. It's not just bringing out the beauty in you, but it's taking care of your skin, yes. right? The concern is there. Collaboration has always been a part of your yes. life too. Yes. Partners, for example, with Jacques. How would you describe your partner with uh, your partnership with Jack as co-founder? Well, I think it complements because mm -hmm. partnership works well when both people bring value to the company, to the partnership, and you work together. It wouldn't work if we had the same strengths or the same weaknesses. That's what makes a partnership or a collaboration great. What is the key for those starting up to get partners, to get collaborators, people who will help you? I think, first of all, they have to believe in what you're doing. Mm -hmm and you have to share the same vision. Whether it's a partnership for a business or it's a partnership with someone you want to work with, you have to share the same vision and have the same goals. Otherwise, I don't think it's going to work. The process. You know, how, can, you, can you go through the process with us end to end? Because you said that's your expertise. Mo. That's what you look after. No? So what does it take no, to start developing a product to making sure that the Filipinos actually buy it? Well, a lot of people think it's about just creating the product and selling it, but you always want to make sure the experience of a consumer is end-to-end, -end, meaning it starts when there's a pain point or a need or a frustration you want pain to address. Pain point. Can you give me one pain, pain point, point to make up? Let's say mascara that lasts all day, doesn't droop, but it's easy to remove, for example. Because there are a lot of amazing mascaras, but by the time you remove them, kalbo na lashes mo. Wow. So it's not worth using mascara okay, like that, right? Okay, okay. So it starts with a pain point or a need, and then we get into product development. How do we address this need, and how do we even make it better, give them value for money, and add a skin caring ingredient? What is specifically in the Happy Skin product when it comes to formula that makes it 
distinct and you know, dis that makes it different from other products? Well, like I said, every Happy Skin product has a unique formula suited for the Filipino skin and our tropical weather. And we make sure every product we churn out has a skin carrying ingredient like cherry blossom extract, Japanese tea leaf, hyaluronic acid, wow. which has the capacity to attract 100 times its water weight. So it really plumps the skin and moisturizes it. I we got have it. Shea I butter, it. collagen. So it, it's, <laughs> you know, women really feel assured that. That's a reason to believe that the brand works because it actually makes a difference to their skin. When you say women, are you particularly attracting a segment? Do you have a target market that, that you'd like to walk into these stores or buy from you? You know, when we first launched, we had a wide range of women buying from us from 15 to 50, from teens to moms to professionals, working women, even makeup artists. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's I think the one thing they have in common is that they just want makeup to become easier. We live in an era where everything's in a snap, in a swipe, in a click, mm -hmm. and even makeup, they don't want it to be a burden. They don't want it to feel like a chore. So when makeup is easy, um, it doesn't ruin the skin, it's easy to apply, and you can actually feel good in five minutes, then that's what will work for them. What about those who don't use makeup like us, or women? in this country na hindi pa makeup. Is there a segment of women who still don't use makeup of today? Of course, there's a segment that doesn't use makeup yet and what we want is Happy Skin to be the first brand they use when they start mm -hmm. wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. And it's about getting their trust. The brand has to feel like a friend, not someone that's telling them what to do, but they have to feel like, you know, the brand is recommending to them the things that will work for them, that won't harm their skin. That's why even the packaging, the color, the vibe of the store, it's fun, approachable, non-intimidating. Non-intimidating. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's the key word there. Hi, Mom. Good day. Welcome to Happy Skin. What started as an idea to create a product for the Filipino people has become a beauty empire and caught the attention of companies such as Disney and its live-action Beauty and the Beast. Imagine an entire year's worth of stocks were sold out in just three months. When we come back here in the show, we find out not just the future plans of Riza as she keeps her feet on the ground, but we actually launch a new product of Risa right here on The Boardroom. After 30 beauty awards, the people here are prouder and happier to be part of this organization than they were four years ago. Recent accomplishments include the Most Promising Retailer in 2016 and People's Choice Award for Cosmetics by Watsons in 2017. Joining us now is one who's been part of this happy journey for the past two years, our brand manager, Larissa. Thank you for joining us. Of course. You're the first marketing yes, person. Yes, yes. But now we're about four in the team mm -hmm. under Risa, and it's been really like fun. Of course, there are moments when you're like, wow, we're doing so much and it's it can get tiring because it's a startup brand mm -hmm. and everyone just puts so much of their effort and so much of their love into what they do that the, the worry or the, the pagod, it just leaves eventually. What makes it a happy brand? What makes Happy Skin such a happy brand? I guess when you work here, you must have love for beauty and makeup. So a lot of the girls here are very kikai. But then I guess what really makes people stay is the people here, like we've come to get so close. It's like, it's not just a friendship, it's more of like a family. And we really try to support each other. If there are people who are um, maybe having a hard time in a certain task, we really try to pull each other up. But you are a brand manager. Yes. So beyond just being friends and mm -hmm. being happy as a family, mm -hmm. what does it take or what do you think is the most important thing that you've been practicing to build this brand because it has been growing? I guess it's um, a lot of it is well one what I was saying a while ago the brand love like you have to start with that if that is not there you won't have a good foundation for how to build your brand because you don't even like what you're doing but then beyond that it's also a good sense of managing your time and managing the people around you so if you're a startup brand you you have to do a lot and sometimes it's not in your scope of what you have to do and that's where the the love for your brand comes Something about Risa. Mm -hmm. As a CEO, as, as a mentor, as a parent, she said she was yeah. you know, to the company. Can you tell us something that, well, that the, these guys don't know? <laughs> well, I guess um, 
I, I read somewhere that really good leaders are able to demand a lot of you as a professional, so, but then they're able to couple that demand by being also compassionate because, you know, we're only people. So that's what I love about working under Risa. Like, she really um, makes sure that she teaches me what I need to be taught, and I have to be able to share that with her and with the people under me. But at the same time, if, you know, I have issues, whether that's like a personal concern or a health concern, I'm, I'm free to share it with her, and she always understands. Thank you so much. <laughs> for this time. Of course. Maraming, maraming salamat. We're going to go back to your happy boss. All right. <laughs> in our conversation okay. with her. Thank you. When it comes to your management style, you describe yourself as a parent. Yeah. You have your own kids, but yes. you look at your 30 plus employees also as kids? Ganun ba yan? No, naman. But I think because I look at them as family. And for me, um, being a leader in a company isn't just about my growth, but also their uh -huh. growth. Developing not just the company and um, reaching the goals of the company, but developing them to be the best who they can be. For me, the success is when I see them, maybe when they move to another career, but they're doing amazingly well and successful in what they want to do. While they're here, what are some values that you would like them to exercise? It would be customer happiness, number mm, one. We want to make sure every customer is happy and that every person in the company is a reflection of that kind of happiness. We also have passion. Mm -hmm. So we love what we do with passion in our hearts. We also have um, teamwork. You know, it's a very lean team. So we want everyone to feel like and think like an owner, mm -hmm. tulungan ng bawat department, um, work-life balance, which is very important. I think. As someone who started a company, among us partners, that was the initial goal. Eh? You know, you want to be able to have more time for your family. Give me That's one why tip. Be on a vacation wow. with your family. Ganon. Because it refreshes the mind and <laughs> allows you to reconnect and build memories with your kids. What is the number one way to get your people to actually practice? to embrace those values. I think it's about walking the talk, being right, the best be example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, they'll only um, practice what you preach and they'll only retain these values and, and imbibe it if they can see it in you. On the typical day of Risa, mm -hmm. as chief brand officer, can you tell me? Well, in an office. Yes, let's um, look at the work, work priorities. When we get to the office, it's a usual nine to, nine to six day. Okay. And we do a lot of product testing, evaluating prototypes, approving visuals, brainstorming in the next marketing campaign, checking on our store sales, uh, the distribution, if the supplier timings are right. At the end of the day, I think you want to make sure that you are able to deliver what the customer wants when they need it at the right place at the right time. Otherwise, you lose an opportunity mm -hmm. and people are just gonna shop somewhere else. And then when you get into the store, anong tinitingnan mo? The first thing I make sure is the latest collection has stock. Tama ba ang yes. stock? Yes, yes. Okay. At saka tama ba ang display? Yes, I'm very particular. I'm a perfectionist. It's my best Somebody and worst. Somebody told me na very particular. Yes, Pagating would... sa dust, no? <laughs> check on the dust. <laughs> I would check on the uniform because I don't want disparity. When they see on social media, all the reviews, wow, what an amazing brand. But when they get to the store, there's a disparity. It just ruins the end-to-end -end experience. So from the moment they search until they get to the store and until they get home, there should be a consistent experience. Otherwise, you lose credibility for the brand. But beyond cosmetics, beyond makeup, right? And I'm so excited yeah. because I can see something here on the side that is about to be launched <laughs> or actually... has been launched just yet by or yes, just now. Yes, and I'm sharing it first on your show. Yes, let's show it. We're actually expanding beyond makeup okay. and for the first time, we're launching our own nail polish line. First year on the boardroom, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know it would be Exclusive. a beauty and fashion show. <laughs> No, I mean, it's it's a very exciting category because for me, I love personally, I love nail polish because it feels like lipstick. You can be on trend, change your look by just a change of nail color. No, but just like every Happy Skin product, we made sure each um, bottle of polish has a skin carrying ingredient. So we made sure it has hydrolyzed keratin and uh, protein so that the nails are always moisturized. And this is also free from the top 10 toxic ingredients. It's also vegan. There's a study that actually shows 70% of brand extensions fail. Mm -hmm. It's a great brand, they extended yes. to a new product line and they failed. So what are you doing to make sure that this extension does not take away from your core? I think when you do a brand extension, it, you have to make sure it delivers the key proposition that your original brand has. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't give the same promise of caring for the skin, then I don't think it will work. But we made sure, you know, this is something we took so long to develop, I think a year. And even when we got into sun care, that was also a year. Um, it's, it's very tricky to get into different categories and you want to make sure you do it right because you only have one chance. Thank you very much, Risa. Thank it's you so much. It's been a blessing for us to be here launching your latest <laughs> product and just learning the story straight from you of happy skin. Thanks. God bless you. Thank you.
Identify your customers' points of pain, address them, and your sales go insane. Join me again next week as we engage some of the country's top business leaders, innovators, and executives. I'm Anthony Pangilinan, and this is The Boardroom. Ang masakit tingnan sa camera, yung eye bangs ko. Kayang-kayang, sir. Sigurado ka, ha? Yes, sir. Ayos! Ayos!